So I've just watched Jim's last ever video over on Income School channel, and I thought I'd give you my reaction to that. So let's get into this. Hi and welcome back to the channel again. So yeah, I've just watched Jim's last ever video over on Income School and um, oh yeah, I was a bit sad by it to be honest. It was a big shock to me to hear that Jim was leaving Income School and he's uh, sold his share over to Ricky who's going to continue growing the Income School brand and company. Now, I've had the pleasure of meeting Jim for a couple of days I won a competition and they came from America directly to my home and came straight from the airport right to my house, this very house I'm living in now. And I got to spend two days with them on a one-to-one a -one kind of basis. They helped me grow a website and they gave me some uh, coaching, a little bit of tuition. So I, it has to be said, to be fair, I wouldn't be where I am now without me winning that competition. It certainly sparked a fire within me and it showed me what was possible. They showed me some numbers and what sites are earning and it really sparked that fire that got me started and really drove me to get to where I am now. So if you're new to the channel and you kind of don't know me, so I've been doing blogging and affiliate marketing now for four years. I quit my supermarket job to do this full time. For about a year, I built websites on my own, kind of not getting anywhere. And then I won the competition and they came to my home, spent a couple of days with me. And from then on, I was much more clued up about the business and I learned so much. And then from then on, it's just been a steady growth for me. I've, I've now got a portfolio of websites. I've got a brand, calbrobber.com, YouTube channel and a real good team behind me. So I can understand for Jim how hard this has been to make this decision to sell his share to Ricky. But I do understand why he's done it. Sometimes it's not all about the money. Now, that might seem strange to say from an affiliate marketer who's always chasing the money. But when you get to a certain level like Ricky and Jim are, I mean, let's face it, they are really wealthy, rich people. If you've ever seen Jim's YouTube channel where he did a house tour of his new home with stables and paddocks and basketball courts and all sorts, it was absolutely incredible. So it's clear that their success within the industry has been very financially rewarding for them over the past you know, 10, 20 years, however long Jim's been doing it, it's been quite some time now. So it's clear that it's not just a money decision because I'm pretty sure Income School is a fantastic business model and I'm sure Ricky is going to see the rewards from that. I mean, the buyout that Ricky must have had to pay Jim to, you know, get him to sell his share of the company must have been huge. I, I can only imagine, but it's certainly going to be enough money probably to see Jim, you know, for the next... <laughs> few years and foreseeable future. So it's fair to say he doesn't probably have to do what he's done for business reasons for the financial reward. But I think he's done it obviously for the love and the passion of growing a blog and a business in something that he is really enthusiastic about it. Now, I don't know what your opinions are on hunting and shooting. You know, it's, it's different here in the UK to the US. I know it's a really popular pastime and hobby out in the US. Obviously, in the UK, it's, it's, it's hardly ever done. Uh, you might get clear pigeon shooting, but that's about it. But, uh, you know, in, in the US, it's a big hobby. And Jim's obviously passionate about that. I've seen his children doing shooting. His whole family is involved in it. So I can understand that he wants to do something that he's passionate about. Now, I totally get that because, you know, I'm passionate about growing my business and my brand. And I'm even more passionate at the moment about helping other people grow their business. So... I can understand that he wants to do something that he's really passionate about. Now, I'm not saying he was not passionate about income skill. I think he probably still is passionate about it. But, you know, he said himself that he's one of these people who loves to start new things and go with them and, you know, and just really grow in that early stage. And I think income skill is at a point now where it's, it's stable, it's secure, and he can just hand it over the t to the team and, you know, Ricky can, you know, run the business. Now, we don't know what's gone on. Maybe Ricky said, well, wait a minute, you know, I'm not, you can't just walk off and do what you want and leave me to run the business. Maybe he said, you know, if that happens, then, you know, I'll buy you out and I'll have the business if you're going off doing other things. 
Who knows? We don't know. It seems very amicable, and I do think Ricky is a great guy. He's such a super smart, intelligent guy. When he came here, you know, the two sat on my settee for nearly two days and just never moved. Hardly ever ate anything, hardly ever drunk anything. They just worked and worked and worked. So I do know how dedicated Ricky is, and I'm sure he's going to make a great success of the business. But like I said, we don't know what the reasons are behind Ricky deciding to buy him out, other than, like I said, that Jim just wants to go off and do something that he's really passionate and interested about. And, you know, after seven years of doing it, you know, maybe you do get a bit bored. Certainly, I think if I worked on one business model for seven years, I know I'd be itching to start something new or try something different. And Hence the reason we all go out and buy new domain names and start new websites, that shiny new object syndrome, whatever it's called. So I can understand Jim doing that. And for me personally, I, I don't think Jim's going to watch this video. But if he does, I'd just like to say, Jim, thank you very much for everything you did for me. When you came here, you really inspired me. And I've, I've looked up to you guys as a role models for, you know, the last four years now. And uh, I will continue to follow Income School. I think it is a great business and a great brand. And I'm sure, like I say, Ricky is going to go from strength to strength with that business. So, uh, Jim, if you do watch this, good luck. Let's show Ricky some support. He can continue with the business. He will continue to grow it. And I'm sure he's going to do a great job. So, Jim, if you're watching, good luck with Backfire. I will certainly be following along. I hope you do uh, a few little kind of uh, income report updates over on Backfire. But even though I don't like hunting, I will still be following the channel because I just want to see how you, as a capable businessman, can grow that new business. So good luck to you, Jim. And Ricky, congratulations on getting a fantastic business. I'm sure you're going to go from strength to strength.